Sometimes you peruse internet.com, whatever news site that you uh, are using. I hope it's not YouTube, but... Um, and you see a headline that you're thinking to yourself, I mean, this shit's crazy, right? You're thinking to yourself, there's no way. No way. I don't think so. And then you read the story and you find out, oh, huh, I guess there is a way. Quote, it would lay this city to waste. Cantonsville woman conspired with neo-Nazi leader to destroy Baltimore power grid. You read stuff like this. Is this an anime? Is this a cartoon? Is this a movie? No. It's America, baby. <laughs> Woo! Let's check it out. Get this fucking... A Cottonsville woman and a Florida man, it's always a Florida man, with neo-Nazi ties have been arrested and charged with conspiring to attack Baltimore's power grid. The FBI and local officials announced on Monday Sarah Beth Clendaniel was allegedly recorded telling an FBI informant her plans to shoot energy substations in Norrisville, Reistertown, Perry Hall, and Baltimore City. She is accused of collaborating with Brandon Russell, the founding member of an Orlando-based neo-Nazi group called Atomwaffen. Russell was sentenced to five years in federal prison in 2018 for charges associated with having explosives in his apartment's garage. The federal prosecutors said he planned to use those explosives to harm civilians, nuclear facilities, and synagogues. Wow. Sounds like a great group of guys. Bomb-making materials were discovered at during a 2017 murder investigation involving Russell's roommate in Tampa, Devon Arthurs, who fatally shot two other roommates. Russell wasn't home at the time of the shooting. Very convenient. Russell was on supervised release when in June 22, he began encouraging an FBI source in an encrypted messenger app to attack substations. <laughs> so this guy gets out of jail and starts telling FBI honeypots, like, hey, blow some shit up, bro. Like, I mean, talk about not intelligent. <laughs> but, I mean, they're Nazis, right? So there's kind of a, a built-in ceiling there on their intelligence. In January, Russia put the FBI put the FBI source in touch with Clen Daniel, saying the woman was a felon who was struggling to buy new weapons. I mean, we've all been there, you know? That's like the name of like a short story, a felon who is struggling to buy new weapons, you know? Like, I, you know, we've all been there. The two allegedly began communicating in 18 when they were imprisoned in separate locations. Quote, the accused were not just talking, but taking steps to fulfill their threats and further their extremist goals, said Thomas Sabachinska, special agent in charge of the FBI Baltimore field office. Russell allegedly provided instructions and location information to Clint Daniel and described attacking the power transformers as the greatest thing somebody can do. Hmm. Interesting. In a conversation between the source and Clint Daniel, she said she'd had a terminal illness and was unlikely to live more than a few more months. So it's your last couple months on Earth. And instead of spending time, I don't know, doing anything else, like your life passion and mission is to blow up a bunch of fucking substations. I mean, we're talking like, like what the fuck? I mean, that's some dumbass shit. You know? Like, you have a couple months to live. And your idea is I'm going to go do some neo-Nazi shit? I mean, Jesus. I'd rather these motherfuckers start making meth. I mean, Christ. In her own words, Clint Daniel said the attack would lay this city to waste. According to something. <laughs> the FBI also obtained a manifesto by Clint Daniel that allegedly references Adolf Hitler and Unabomber Ted I'm allowed to make fun of people that have ski in their last name. Just for reference. It's not racist. 
The arrests come from about two months after someone opened fire on a substation in North Carolina, knocking out power to some 45,000 people, according to Charging Papers, Russell sent the FBI source a YouTube video about the attack. People are saying that that attack was in relation to a drag event, an adults-only drag event, I should say. Um, though that was technically unconfirmed. Who knows, right? The deliberate attack raised concerns about the vulnerability of U.S. power grid to sabotage, as many substations are protected by little more than chain link fences. In late December, four power substations were vandalized in the Tacoma area of Washington, knocking out power to 14,000 customers. In a statement, BGE and Exelon thanked the FBI for its work and mentioned efforts to prevent attacks on the power grid. Pretty crazy shit. Officials believe Russell started a local neo-Nazi group as part of a larger organization with cells in multiple states. According to the criminal complaint, the group's targets include racial minorities, the Jewish community, the LGBT community, journalists, and the U.S. government and vital infrastructure. So, you know, just a little fun fact for everyone. We love fun facts here in the uh, Above It All Studios universe. But Adam Waffen is uh, the group that is responsible for swatting me. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I got swatted about five years ago. Uh, it was very upsetting. A lot of bad stuff happened. Long story short, turned out it was Adam Waffen, right? So again, I do have personal experience with this particular neo-Nazi group, and I can confirm that they absolutely do love to target LGBTQ minorities, right? So, um, these people are crazy, and they're everywhere. That's what you need to understand. Approximately, according to data and research and studies, um, there is a big study that was done in the mid-aughts that found out that approximately, this is a study on broad populational demographics when it comes to politics done, I think it was in the mid-aughts, right? And it found that about one in five people in North America, right? So it was a multi, it was an international, three nations. About one in five of people in North America have fascist tendencies, right? So they could become fascists given a political scenario that would, right? And so then we have 10 years after that, Donald Trump right? Donald Trump runs for office. He doesn't run as a Nazi in 2016. He runs as a racist, as a rapist, but not necessarily a Nazi. Whereas four years later in 2020, he was bragging about sending police forces to assassinate protesters, just bragging about it on national television, bragging about sending private military groups in the form of police to murder Black Lives Matter protesters, and then he bragged about it on live television. So whatever you want to say about his 26 campaign, uh, 2016 campaign, definitely not in the Nazi category. Almost there, but not there. 2020, Nazi, straight up, not even a debate. Anyone that debates whether or not Donald Trump's 2020 campaign is founded upon the values of Nazism, I'm sorry, you weren't paying attention, right? You just weren't. Um. And so again, these people have been here, they have gotten more radicalized, right? So it's one thing to be a Nazi or have fascist sympathies. It's another to be radicalized and then be practicing and training with other people in these groups for five years, 10 years, right? So we're escalating and it's getting worse and it's not good. And uh, I don't have a solution. I don't think anything is going, I think that the worst possible things are going to happen. And then I think it's going to get worse. You know, a lot of people love to say it's going to get worse before it gets better. I don't know about the getting better part. I think it's going to get worse. And I would love it to get better. I would love to manifest that into reality with my positive energy and my crystals, right? It's not happening, though, no matter how much I try. In the same way that whenever someone prays to Jesus... And nothing happens, you know, maybe we need another strategy. And I don't really know what the other strategy is. But uh, all I know is the pretending that there is no problem strategy that America is employing. Not really working out so well. But anyway, so there you go. Pretty cool. Uh, good story. Good update. And I'm um, looking forward to the future, etc.